Hello and welcome to the Beginner's Guide to OLAP Modeling and Modeling Concepts. You might have heard terms such as cubes, dimensions, and measures. These terms can be confusing if you're not an experienced modeler, so in this video we'll be taking a look at the basics of OLAP data modeling. First, we'll start off with the question, why do we model data? Modeling is an excellent way to structure your data for analyses. Having raw data is a wonderful thing. The more of it we have, the more analyses we're able to perform with it, and the more questions we can answer. But data in its original form doesn't always make much sense. Just having data is little use to us unless we can structure it and view it in a way that's meaningful to us. So how do we structure data? The answer is by using cubes. A cube is a multi-dimensional data set. Cubes can hold data, collect data from users, and be used to calculate data as needed. So what would that look like? Most of us can imagine a one-dimensional spreadsheet quite easily. You create one every time you create a list, like a list of book genres, quarters, regions, and products. Dimensions are lists of related items that define a certain aspect of the business, such as products, time, or regions. They're what's used to form cubes. A two-dimensional spreadsheet is also quite easy to imagine. For example, suppose you're tracking monthly sales in the columns and genre sales in the rows. That's two dimensions, one for time and one for genre. Sales is something called a measure. Measures give you information about quantities that you're interested in. In this example, it's sales. You're interested in knowing what the current sales numbers are for the time and genre dimensions. Other examples of measures are cost, quantity, or duration. Now that we know what analyzing two dimensions can look like, analyzing three or more dimensions can be tricky to imagine. So let's say you're the owner of a bookstore. You might have a spreadsheet where you track monthly sales in the columns and sales per genre in the rows. But that's only a two-dimensional analysis. So now let's imagine that you're the manager of multiple bookstores. You might have multiple spreadsheets containing these same dimensions but for each store. And now you're analyzing three dimensions, one for time, one for genre, and one for region. Using this visual, it's easy to see how this data set is called a cube. But despite this name, cubes can contain more than three dimensions. So now that you've seen how data is modeled and how data is structured in cubes, what's the point? Dimensions by themselves don't provide as much insight into data but combined into a cube, they are powerful tools for data analyses. To illustrate this next point, let's continue to pretend that you're the manager of multiple bookstores. Say you're tracking sales with three different spreadsheets using three different dimensions, quarters, genre, and cities. From looking at these spreadsheets, it seems that everything is pretty equal. As the manager of the bookstores, you'd probably stock your stores with the same number of books for each genre, quarter, and location. But let's see how that assessment can change just by combining two dimensions. Here we have a two-dimensional report that looks at sales by genre and sales by quarter. It's using the same data as in the last example, but now we can see that romance novels do better in the first quarter, mysteries in the second quarter, and horrors in the third quarter. Based on this new analysis, you'd stock your stores differently. Now let's look at a report with three dimensions. Just look at the difference a third dimension can make. We can see that in Tokyo only romance novels are selling, and that Toronto loves comedy, New York loves mystery, and London loves horror. And based on this new information from the same data, you'd likely make very different decisions than if you were looking at a report with just two dimensions. And finally, let's take a look at this report, but with four dimensions. This report now has the versions dimension. The versions dimension looks at the budgeted sales, the actual sales, and the variance between the budget and the actual. And now, as the manager of the bookstores, you can see the variance between what you budgeted for your stores and what the actual sales were, and make changes accordingly. I hope that this video on the basics of modeling has helped you understand why we model data and how we use modeled data.